Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghtaybiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Royal Highness for being awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Healthcare and Business Summit. The award was in recognition of His Royal Highness's leadership across many areas as well as His Royal Highness's efforts in combating COVID-19 and further strengthening Bahrain-U.S. relations. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude to a officials at the government authorities, constitutional institutions, diplomats and members of various embassies, the members of municipal councils and officials at private companies, as well as the citizens and residents who have expressed their congratulations for the award. His Royal Highness affirmed that the award honors all, including Team Bahrain's efforts in transforming challenges into opportunities and to further the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet congratulated Saudi Arabia on its national day, praising its comprehensive development, prosperity and progress laid by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud. The cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Government Executive Committee on the progress of the programs implemented within the Government Priorities Framework up to September 2021 and the execution plans for projects within its third edition, which aim to achieve financial sustainability and secure environment that supports development. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs concerning four MOUs between Bahrain and Israel. The MOUs aim to strengthen bilateral cooperation in the fields of sports, innovation and development in water resources, environmental protection, nature and habitat conservation, medical services and research. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on granting Israel sovereignty over their data stored in Bahrain on the provision of cloud computing services to foreign parties. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding the review of the performance of the Physical Balance Program since its launch in 2018, the impact of the COVID-19 global pandemic on the financial and economic situation as well as the option studied uh, to achieve a physical balance between government expenditures and revenues. The Cabinet commended the role of the Legislative Authority in maintaining social support for eligible citizens and stressed the importance of continuing to work together to enhance financial stability. It was also agreed to progress constitutional and legal procedures to refer a draft law amending some provisions of the VAT law to the Legislative Authority, which includes an amendment to the value-added percentage starting from the 1st of January 2022. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding Bahrain's logistic plan, which includes the strategic objectives of the sector and the future plan for air cargo at Bahrain International Airport and the launch of a global sea-to-air hub in Bahrain. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding the recognition of a number of countries as global partners for the global sea-to-air hub launched in Bahrain, allowing companies based in these countries to apply for accreditation as an authorized operator of the service. The benefits of the service include transporting cargo between sea and airports in a period of no more than two hours, enhancing shipping speeds and reducing competitive costs. 
A memorandum by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning regarding the sea reclamation line within the Nabih Saleh Island. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the quarterly economic report for the second quarter of 2021, which outlined the Kingdom's ability to return to pre-pandemic economic and financial progress. A memorandum by the Minister of Health regarding the achievements of the National Committee to Combat Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases for the years 2017-2021. till 2021. The Cabinet took note of the ministerial report of the Ministers on the results of the participation in the 7th meeting of the Council of Ministers of Labour and Council of Ministers of Social Affairs in the GCC, as well as the signing of the agreement to organise the Bahrain International Air Show 2022-2024 and participation in the DESI exhibition in London, as well as Bahrain's during the 19th meeting of the Committee of Ministers dealing with housing affairs and the Kingdom's participation in the 5th Arab Water Forum. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Abu Dhabi International Hunting and Equestrian Exhibition. He toured the various wings of the exhibition and examined the latest technology in the field while listening to a presentation on the objectives of the event. His Highness made a statement in which he praised the advanced level to which the exhibition has reached, which affirms the status of the UAE regionally and internationally. He added that the exhibition affirms the UAE's keen interest in preserving the traditions of falconry and hunting for the coming generations. He affirmed the ongoing cooperation between the Kingdom and the UAE in this field and wished the exhibition further success.
the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Al Ahli Club and Al Tihad Club as part of His Highness's keenness to enhance communication with sports facilities. His Highness met with the president of Al Ahli Club, Khalid Ibrahim Kanu, and the president of Al Tihad Club, Sayyid Anwar Sharaf, as well as a number of members. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the honorable achievements of Al Ahli Club and his efforts in serving Bahraini sports, hailing the steps taken by Al Ittihad Club to achieve sports digital transformation. His Highness affirmed that the two clubs' efforts highlighted the role of clubs in developing the sports sector. His Highness then listened to a brief uh, from uh, the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. For their part, the club's presidents expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, held its regular meeting remotely chaired by its president, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The SCIA extended their sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Royal Highness's being awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Healthcare and Business Summit. The SCIA said that the award is in recognition of His Royal Highness's efforts and achievements in various fields as well as of its wide or his wise leadership of the national efforts to confront the coronavirus pandemic, earning its wide international praise. It affirmed that the well-deserved international honoring is a source of pride for everyone, noting that it crowns His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's tireless efforts in serving the nation and meeting His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's aspirations. The prestigious award also reflects the efforts of Team Bahrain to turn challenges into opportunities that enhance the comprehensive of development march led by His Majesty the King. The SCIA then discussed the topics on the agenda. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, delivered the statement of Bahrain at the general debate of the United Nations General Assembly. During the statement, the minister affirmed that Bahrain took a face the pandemic effectively to protect citizens and residents without discrimination. Al Zayani has stated that Bahrain is working to strengthen its partnership with the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. He said that the Middle East continues to experience instability and affirmed the kingdom's commitment to peace. He also affirmed the importance of preserving the GCC's cohesion, including the commitments included in the Ula Summit Declaration. The minister said that the kingdom chooses a peace as a strategic option for permanent and comprehensive peace in the region based on the values of tolerance and coexistence while combating extremism. He added that the signing of the declaration's support of peace with the State of Israel comes as a part of striving towards these ideals. He stressed the importance of the preservation of the rights of the Palestinians people through the establishment of the two-state solution and expressed his support for Saudi Arabia's initiative for a ceasefire in Yemen while condemning the Houthis targeting of civilians in Saudi Arabia. He then called for the settlement of the issue of the Renaissance Dam and the prevention or the preservation of water rights for Egypt and Sudan and for respecting the sovereignty of the Libyan state. He renewed support for Morocco's legitimate rights over its southern provinces. He said that the kingdom has contributed to the evacuation of Americans and Afghans from Afghanistan while sending humanitarian assistance there. He called for the establishment of a zone free of WMDs in the Middle East and to prevent Iran from acquiring them and affirmed cooperation with the kingdom's allies in combating financing terrorism, money laundering and all terrorist organizations. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met at the United Nations headquarters with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. The two sides discussed relations of cooperation between Bahrain and the UN with its various agencies, noting their development at various fields. They also highlighted the efforts of the UN in maintaining international security and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met at the headquarters of Bahrain's mission to the United Nations in New York with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Nepal, Dr. Narayan Khadka, on the sidelines of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The two sides reviewed the relations of cooperation between the two friendly countries, discussing ways to enhance bilateral ties in all fields for the benefit of both countries and people. They also reviewed a number of topics and issues of common interest at the regional and international levels. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi attended the award ceremony of the Sharjah International Government Communication Forum in the presence of the Deputy Ruler of Sharjah and Chairman of Sharjah Media Council, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Ahmed bin Al Qasimi. The Minister praised the distinguished organization of the forum and the award, which reflects the keenness of the Sharjah Media Council, headed by His Highness Sheikh Sultan, to support national media works and honor the creative youth energies at the level of the Arab world. Appreciate Appreciating the efforts made by the award jur jury in creating new categories that keep pace with the great development witnessed by the media and communication sector at the regional level and the selection of winners in an organized and professional manner, wishing the forum and the award and its organizers every success. The Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi, met Jordanian Information Minister and the government official spokesman, Sakhar Doudin. This came during their participation in the International Government Communication Forum in Sharjah. The minister affirmed that the relations are based on strong ties between the two leaderships and peoples. Ramehi expressed his pride in the continuing coordination with Jordan and media and communication sector to achieve the common goals of both countries. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, celebrated the World Tourism Day through an evening program in the historic city of Muharraq. The president of the BACA, Sheikh Hamey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that the World Tourism Day this year is a distinct adding that celebrating this day at this time reflects the belief that culture is a lever for sustainable development and a tool for upgrading local communities. She stressed that the city of Muharraq is witnessing a continuous development process aimed at restoring its authentic cultural memory and its position as a center of creativity and civilized production in addition to drawing the world's attention to a development model that takes culture as a pillar and basis for strengthening its material and tangible cultural infrastructure.